Hi everyone, I'm Mohan. I'm the general manager of HP's Esmeralda Software Business Unit. And I have here today with us a very uh, exciting guest uh, from a very exciting company. Uh, Sirish heads engineering for Single Store, which is uh, renowned as the world's fastest database. Sirish, welcome. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself really quickly? Hey, thank you, Mohan. I'm really excited to be here. Uh, as you said, I run engineering for Single Store. My title is Senior Vice President here, and uh, I, I, I do everything engineering for Single Store. Um, yeah, Single Store, you know, I, just brief introduction. Uh, it is a general purpose a relational database, and the difference between this database and the rest of it is that we basically do all TP and all app workloads together in one place. You don't have to do ETL, you don't have to copy the data, etc. Our unique architecture basically lets you do these things. You know, there is a rise of new age applications which are basically real time in nature, and our architecture basically lends really well for that. Um, and we can do both the low latency operational workloads and uh, fast scans of data really well. And you know, I'm happy to uh, dive deeper into it, but that's really the gist of Single Store. Sirish, you lost me at OLTP and OLAP, but you know, we have another 10 minutes to talk about all of these things, right? So, so you know, again, so first of all, thanks for making the time, Sirish. As we had spoken about before, in HPE Esmeral, we are big believers in the hybrid cloud or the hybrid multi-cloud future for our customers. And we are always excited to talk about and basically feature technologies that improve the like, business outcomes for our customers, right? So you mentioned a bunch of buzzwords. You mentioned about real-time applications and like you know use cases that need fast analytics, right? Can you share a little bit of light on what some of these use cases would be? Yeah. So you know, with the with the evolution of smartphones and the new age SaaS applications. Most every application needs real-time insights. What I mean by that is that the time that it takes for drawing insights when the data enters the system uh, is compressed significantly. And it impacts your you know, downstream business decisions and a whole lot of experience for the users. Imagine a use case where you're walking around the street and you basically run into a favorite, let's say, you know, uh, a candy store or whatever. If, you're, if, if there is a digital sort of a commerce application that can detect this operational change, which is the location of your, uh, you know, where you are, et cetera. And then it can do, uh, the, compute the analytics on what your user preferences are, et cetera, and, and try to give you a coupon right then and there, then it'd be of value. Let's say you walk down two or three blocks and if you get the coupon, it's sort of the value's already lost, right? And these experiences are on the rise. Most of the data basically comes in and you basically do a state management event, and then eventually you want to do insights the time it takes to really just go from one state to the other state is 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 the name of the game and single store basically does that really well because our architecture lets you do both in one place without having to copy the data do etl and all that that's awesome siri so i took the, what i took away over here is smarter faster better more personalized ads in real time that's a very valid and very yeah, that, realistic that is a, use case that's right? a very important use case and you know that kind of falls into the martech arena but we also have fintech we have you know streaming scenarios energy utility etc you can imagine this this sort of theme recurs in many businesses yeah absolutely in fact i was just about to say like you know i spend a lot of time with enterprise customers where if you look at fraud and security type of use cases you know the the time to detect in, in the good old days, it used to be time to resolve. That was a, the primary metric of success. Now it's really time to detect as well, right? So the faster we can basically get a signal, the better it is, right? Yeah, no, totally, yeah. I mean, imagine, you know, when you're trying to do some media streaming, et cetera, the optimizations that you need to do while delivering these ads, right, uh, in real time. Uh, of course, in finance, you said fraud. There's also portfolio management, algorithmic trading, etc. Then there's a whole bunch of things in terms of IoT analytics, predictive maintenance, etc. These are the scenarios that come up a lot. That's that's fascinating, right? So, so what makes it complex, like you know, for customers to like you know brew their own solutions or solve these types of problems? I think the the best solution outside of single store is to have an operational system, and then you move the data from the operational system into an analytic system. And so, first and foremost, you'd have to basically process in two different services, two different systems, et cetera. And then the time it takes to move the data, and then you'd have to do some transformation, optimize it in a certain different way, et cetera. If you don't have a system that is natively built for this, 
it, it really is hard uh, to compress that time to insight effectively. And that's the gist of it. So it all really comes down to whether your system is native in terms of understanding this uh, demand uh, or not, right? You know, it really is, uh, uh, it, it's clearly that left or right. <laughs> no, I, th I, think, I think that kind of makes sense, right? And you know, it's, it's fascinating, like where I'm sitting to hear this type of stuff because we spend a lot of time with customers who are looking at various technology options, right? And like, you know, a large part of our focus is how do we simplify the programming model so customers can basically build and deploy wherever convenient for them, right? So, so literally it's keep your data where it's convenient for you, run your compute where it's convenient for you, right? What I'm hearing you say is it's the next level of evolution, right? Where it's really about speed and like, you know, uh, time to productivity of sorts as the right rubrics here, right? I think you hit, you hit, that's exactly the reason why we are most excited about partnering with you, which is that you know, when you think about where the data is, how the data is born and how the data is being processed, it's not just about having the capability to put all this competition in one place. It's also about pushing the compute and pushing these platforms to the places where this can happen. And hence, you know, this marriage is amazing because together, you know, we can develop a data management layer that enables the applications. But, you know, on, on that note, right, so wanted to double click a little bit more, right, around, so when you look at the HP Esmeral portfolio, right, like, you know, one of our flagship jewel offerings is our data fabric technology, which helps us manage data from edge to core to cloud. And it provides a whole bunch of guardrails around, uh, like, you know, access control, geofencing, uh, secure data management and such, right? On top of this, we have this new suite of products coming out called Unified Analytics, which is a set of open source frameworks to help you with um, various analytical tasks, right? All the way from data engineering to insight generation and stuff, right? Uh, what we are also excited about and what we've talked about multiple times now is how can single store become a database that layers on top of like this layer cake of sorts, right? So we'd love to get your perspectives on what are you excited about with this? Uh, and like, you know, any cool things that you want to share? So the thing that I'm really excited about is that, you know, with the frameworks that you have, you know, obviously we work in partnership with many other systems in terms of CDC in, CDC out. You can imagine the modern data stack coming together and single store being a core place where the source of the data, you replicate it to analytics, et cetera. Now you could bring other things like visualizations and, you know, BI tooling on top of it. Um, with with the Green Lake data platform, those things are all available together with the data. We could we could be the data layer in that you know, in that cake effectively, and you could bring the other open frameworks that can process uh, this data further. Um, super exciting. <laughs> I, I think that's a very powerful combination. Wait for some exciting announcements over the next few months. Um, two quick questions before we wrap up over here. Like any specific business outcomes or specific industry use cases you'd like to highlight. For the audience here, I, I think financial services, media, streaming, energy, utilities, etc. Yeah, these are all great scenarios, and I think the business outcomes are very clear in terms of how do you move the data in a way that um, how do you sort of manage the data where it is instead of making copies and all that, right? So I, I think the scenarios extend across multiple dimensions, but I, I you know, finance, media, energy, utilities are some of the things that come to uh, top of mind for me. Super. One prediction, and this is a curveball question, one prediction for the next five years, where do you think things are going to be at? You know, uh, I think this is an interesting one. Um, it's, of course, hard to predict uh, for five years ahead, but, but I would say that, you know, data will naturally continue to grow, you know, volume, variety, velocity, etc. Um, the critical pressure on the organizations is to, is to manage these diverse sets coming in from various sources. Um, and you know they need to transact with high fidelity and reason with the, uh, without having to move data in hybrid multi cloud you know with multi with millisecond kind of response time so this this is going to be the core theme that will keep coming up in the next five years and I also believe in addition to that that the modern data stack needs to be significantly simplified uh, with general purpose database engines and simpler fewer data transitions so I would pick these two. <laughs> Serious, I, I love it. You know, when I think about my predictions, I feel like, you know, we focus on the three Ps, performance, portability, predictability, right? I think, yeah, speed and like, you know, uh, near real time is again, you know, it, it's been stuff that people talk about, but we've not really like, you know, seen the next generation of use cases. I'm a big believer of the fact that as networking is getting faster and as the amount of data being produced is growing exponentially, 
we do need solutions that can basically tackle the speed element as well, right? Completely. Super excited. Yeah. Once again, thank you so much for the time. Yeah. And yeah, very excited for what we could be doing together. Mohan, it was a pleasure and thank you for uh, taking time to talk to me today. <laughs>